So this is your bullet. This is your round of ammunition. There is a difference. So when I say ammo malfunctions, this is what I'm talking about, a malfunction with the ammo. What's up everybody, Chris with South Carolina Gun School and today I'm going to talk about something uh, that I discussed in my understanding ammo video and I kind of wanted to single this out from this video uh, just to help everybody get a little bit better understanding if you haven't watched that video uh, just to make sure everybody understands about ammo malfunctions all right these are things that can happen uh, when you're out practicing uh, with any firearm so it's not just handguns or long guns or shotguns or anything like that okay it, ammo malfunctions can happen with any firearm and it's not necessarily the firearm itself uh, it's normally the ammo that you're dealing with Okay, so like what you see here, you know, I've got a round of ammunition and then I've got a bullet. So we've got our round of ammunition here. Okay, now a lot of people will call these a bullet just to give a brief little education. Technically, this piece here, the small piece, all right, this right here, all right, this is actually your bullet. What gets shot out of the gun, that is your bullet. Okay, your round of ammunition right here is made up of the bullet, the casing, the powder, and the primer. That is a round of ammunition. But I mean, if you came up and said, hey, I'm out of bullets or something like that, I'm gonna know what you're talking about and understand what you mean. But, you know, there are some people in this industry that are get very technical with this stuff. So this is your bullet. This is your round of ammunition. There is a difference. So when I say ammo malfunctions, this is what I'm talking about, a malfunction with the ammo, all right? So if you're new to shooting or maybe you've been shooting and you've never really ran across any of these, all right, if you're training like you are supposed to, being the responsible gun owner that you are, you know, this is something that you're going to run across during your training. It's why I wanted to have this conversation. So let's get down into it. Your first malfunction, all right, that is going to be your misfire. All right, and this is why, honestly, I think your misfire is probably the most common ammo malfunction that you're going to run across. Now, what the misfire is, it is a failure to fire, meaning the primer has been struck, all right, but for whatever reason, the primer or the powder did not ignite, all right? So, the primer being this right here in the little middle of your center fired ammunition, hence center fired ammunition, you got the primer. So the firing pin has struck the primer, but for whatever reason, the powder did not ignite to send your bullet out of the gun, okay? Now, with a misfire, this could be your gun, could be. Very, very small percentage, it's your gun, all right? But if there's damage to the firing pin that you haven't seen through your normal maintenance, hence why I had just released a video talking about cleaning and maintenance. This is why you need to clean and maintain your gun so things don't happen to your gun. But now, if you didn't catch it during your cleaning and your maintenance, or maybe, you know, sometimes, and this could be a very, very small thing uh, or small damage that's been done to your firing pin for it to not properly strike the primer. So it can, might be something where you looked at it, but you just didn't actually physically see it. So that a misfire could possibly be the gun. Majority of the time when I've ran across these, it has been the actual round of, am of ammunition. 
And it could have been something where your firing pin got damaged uh, during the maintenance and cleaning of your gun. Okay, that, that can happen. Okay, so yes, it could be the firearm, but like I said, mostly it is the round of ammunition. Okay, so now, what are we gonna do when this happens? Remember your safety rules, okay? This is where people start to forget their safety rules and they start to break them, okay? Because you don't point the firearm at anything you don't intend to shoot. So don't point it at yourself or someone else to look down the barrel. Yes, yes, yes. I know it might be hard to believe, but there are plenty of videos out there where that has happened, where people have gotten the misfire, okay? They got their misfire, and for whatever reason, they were like, hey, look down the barrel of my gun, or something like that. So, it has happened. Remember, don't point your firearm at anything you do, do not intend to shoot. So remember your safety rules, right? Because we all will discuss, you'll see why this is important, you know, moving forward, okay? A firearm is not a water hose that gets jammed up, okay? It's not a gun off of Looney Tunes with a little flag popping out of it that says bang. All right, so we're gonna first remember our safety rules, one of them being don't point your gun at anything you don't intend to shoot. So don't be looking down in your barrel after you have had a misfire because our next malfunction we're gonna talk about will help you understand why I say that. So when this happens, all right, don't point anything you don't intend to shoot. Next, all right, keep your firearm under control meaning keep your hands on it. I'm not saying stay in your shooting stance, all right? But keep control of your firearm. Don't just immediately sit it down on the table, okay? Keep it pointed down range. You wanna allow to, for about three to five seconds. Three to five seconds is the average on uh, what we found when we dug into uh, how long it takes from the misfire to the hang fire, which is the next malfunction we're gonna be talking about. So give it about three to five seconds. After three to five seconds, we're gonna clear the gun, meaning drop your mag out of the gun, clear the round out of the chamber, okay? Some people have left their mag in the gun and they rack it and it just loads another round or some people have dropped the mag out and forget to clear the round, okay? Once it's out, sit it down, okay? I've seen um, some people drop it in their pocket, put it back in with other ammo, just sit it down on the table. All right? If you need to, take another round, sit it next to it, all right? And inspect it, look at it. See if there's any damage, like dents, bulges, cracks, any type of tears in the casing, all right? And also look to see if the bullet is recessed down into the casing. Okay, you're sitting sideways in the casing. A lot of people don't do this. So what I'm talking about is look to see if this bullet has been pushed back down too far into the casing. That's why I say if you won't sit another round next to it so you can kind of get two different comparisons. But what I'm talking about is look to see if that bullet is recessed, all right, or leaning left or right inside of that casing. All right, it's also a good idea to definitely look down in to the gun, but now this is after you've cleared it, okay, and you've broken it apart. So break the gun down, check the internals just to make sure there's nothing going on there, all right? So that that's your misfire. Bang, 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 click. That's all you get, that's your misfire. You're not getting anything else, okay? So now, I, I know some of y'all are probably asking, so this three to five second, what's he talking about hang fire? Okay, that's why after the misfire, that is where your second malfunction can come into play. Okay, that is your hang fire, all right? Which is, again, normally preceded by the misfire. Okay, so what happens is you get your misfire, bang, 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 click, and then for whatever reason, there's a delay all right, in that round going off. So bang, 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 click. 
bang, that's it. So yes, the misfire has happened, it struck the primer. When that primer's been struck, that round can go off at any time. So this is why I also said, wait, all right, clear it before you sit it down or anything, all right? Make sure you don't put it in with other, any other ammo or anything like that, okay? Because yes, what do you think is going to happen if you're holding it in your hand the whole time you're inspecting it? Or you just drop it in your pocket, all right? It's going to have, you're going to end up with a bad day. Now, I'm not talking about a bad day where you're going to have, you know, fingers blown off or anything crazy like that. Even for a large caliber like this, you know, it's going to be a little explosion that's going to happen in your hand okay so you could end up with uh it busting your hand open where you might need stitches or staples or something like that okay and then if you put it back in with other ammo now you're going to essentially create a little bomb Okay, now I'm not talking about a bomb where all the ammo is going to blow up, but it's one, am, one round of ammunition going off is enough to start causing other rounds around it to start going off. And yes, eventually you'll have, you know, some shrapnel coming from that. Okay, but if it's just sitting there, excuse me, on the table, it's going to pop like a firecracker. The bullet and casing are going to separate. It might jump up a little bit just from that small little explosion. All right, but it is a small explosion. It can do damage to you. So be mindful. Hain fire is from your misfire leading to the hang fire. Bang, 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 click. Bang. So be very mindful of that. Make sure you are you know, watching what you're doing, listening to weird little things, all right? Because you, if you, again, if you're practicing like you're supposed to, you're gonna run across this. So now, for our last malfunction, all right? This can happen with or without the misfire, all right? What it's called is a squib load. Squib is S-Q-U-I-B, Sam, Quebec, Umbrella, India, Bravo. That is your squib load. Okay, now with the squib load, all right, that could be where there's already damage to the ammunition that maybe wasn't caught as it was being loaded. Okay, it could be ammo, ammo that was damaged while it was being loaded. All right, or it could be an under powdered round. So there are, you know, many different reasons for this to happen. The firearm, you know, being shot will not make a sound like a normal gunshot. You know, it's gonna almost make it sound like you've got a suppressor on your firearm. And sometimes you'll even see smoke come out of parts of the gun where you normally don't see smoke come out of. The big problem here with your squib load all right, is this guy right here could actually be lodged in your barrel. It might not have had enough pressure, enough velocity to get out of the barrel of the gun. So this could be lodged in your barrel. So meaning if you don't pay attention, another round would load right in there with no problems. You pull the trigger, it's going to be another bad day. All right, it's going to be a really bad day because now the gun's gonna explode in your hands. Now, not necessarily a big explosion, it just depends on the type of caliber, you know, that you're using, okay? But that pressure's gotta go somewhere. If it can't go out the, bar out the end of the barrel, the muzzle there, then it's gonna go somewhere. So be mindful and be watching what you're doing because this can turn your firearm, yes, into a bomb where you're gonna have shrapnel coming out. All right, especially if you have bigger calibers. So you got to make sure you are paying attention. And what I mean by paying attention is, if you're out shooting, 
and you, if you're by yourself and you're shooting, or if you're out shooting with someone and they're standing around or whatever watching you shoot, and somebody, you or somebody goes, what the hell was that? You need to stop shooting. You need to clear everything out of the firearm. You need to check the ammo and you need to check the gun. If it's, you got your ammo dumped in an ammo can, just kind of look, overlook it, make sure nothing looks off in the ammo. Look at the box, make sure there's nothing off in the box of ammo. The other great thing is you can go online and type in any one of these malfunctions into YouTube and people have caught it on video and you'll even see people that have caught it on video and they'll even be nice enough to show you what not to do because they forgot their safety rules and you will see what can happen and how badly things can go if you don't follow your safety rules when you're dealing with malfunctions. And matter of fact, I'm even gonna have a video up at the end of this video of where I was able to go out and find some of these things on YouTube, okay? So go online, check it out for yourself. There are plenty of places for you to go and look at this. You can just go to Google and search ammo malfunctions, read more about it. All right, you'll go on YouTube. YouTube is, you know, I'm telling you, you're gonna find tons of videos where people have caught these malfunctions on camera and you will find a ton of people that have lost their safety rules and became complacent and stopped respecting the gun. But just be mindful while you're shooting, pay attention, if something sounded off, do what you gotta do to check the gun. Okay, I hope this video has definitely helped everybody understand, give, kind of give a better understanding of ammo malfunctions. You know, they definitely do happen. All right, so please make sure you're paying attention. All right, I definitely want to thank everybody for watching. Okay, it's greatly appreciated, all the support. Please make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment. This all helps out. All right, that all helps out. So please continue to support like you're supporting. All right, don't forget to make sure you check out our affiliates, excess sites, all right? Get you some great big dot sites. They've got them for rifles, shotguns, and handguns, and handguns is both pistols and revolvers. All right, no other choice if you need any gear. All right, and also Core Essential. If you need a great belt, I'll have all of their links up here in the screen with all of my promo codes. And they're also down in the description and check out my link tree as well too all of it's there as well but make sure you remember folks if you're not shooting you're reloading if you're not reloading you're fighting if you're not fighting you're dead trying to live see you on the range oh hold on you got a squib yeah Wow. Oh, huh? I see it's good.